Good evening, everyone. It's TV Guy Jay with Storm Forest Games, and we are playing Lawn Mowing Simulator tonight. Uh, this is going to be the, I think, the second installment in the Lawn Mowing Simulator series here on the Storm Forest Games YouTube channel. So hopefully you folks enjoy it. Uh, I'm hoping you do, and uh, I know that I enjoy it as well. So, um, you know, come along with us, and we will have... A lot of fun there it is right there let's jump into the game and see what kind of mischief and what kind of shenanigans we can get into so we will be using the Xbox controller tonight and I'm it's been a minute since we've played this so I want to see where we're at we've done three contracts we have no employees other than myself. We have one garage, and I believe we only have one mower and one string trimmer. So there's our mower. <clears throat> and we don't really have enough money to do any upgrading right now. Um, we could, in theory, upgrade this building for 1500 but that would take away... Um, that would take away most of our money. So let's let's do a couple more contracts here just to get a little bit more money here. Let's uh let's do this big one here. This is worth 555 pounds. Uh it's a three and a half star complexity. It's called Paddock, the old nook cottage. Um they want uh 99.5% cut. It's gonna be a general cut between two and three quarter inches and three and one eighths inch. Uh, we have five minutes to check the ground. 19 and a half minutes uh, recommended is the uh, cut time. Uh, they recommend a 51 and one eighths inch deck. And currently the grass is between eight and five eighths and 11 and three quarter inches. So that's, that's extremely high. That's like almost a foot tall. Uh, and they want it cut down to between two and three quarter and three and one eighths. So we're going to assign myself to this. We're going to assign that as our mower and that as our string trimmer. And we need to remember two and three quarter to three and one eighths. So let's jump into this here and see exactly what we can do here. That is some pretty tall grass. I'm not going to lie. Two and three quarter to three and one eighths. So first things first, uh, we're going to get on the vehicle. Oh, no, wait a minute. We don't want to skip the ground check. Let's, let's do the ground check first and see exactly what we can do here. I'll move the microphone over so you guys can still hear me. Um, is that not, I wonder if that's not part of it or, I don't know. We'll find out later, I suppose, but we're going to check the ground here and just uh, try to find anything that might be a hazard. There's an object. This looks like kind of a kind of an animal pasture almost. A little bear spot there. So we're just uh walking around here trying to make sure that we don't miss anything. There's two objects. I see another object over here. That's three. There should be four left. Let's 
We want to make sure we find them all because they can damage the mower. Okay, that's five. There should be two more now. There's six. One more. Hopefully it's over in this corner somewhere. Alright. It appears that maybe we missed it. Now this is gonna this is gonna stress me out because uh we need to find that last one. You know what I mean? We've gotta find there it is over here. Perfect. Alright. We did the ground check within the allotted time. Let's jump on the mower. Start her up. Now the deck is currently set to two and three quarter inches. They want it cut to two and three quarter inches minimum. So we'll just leave it like that. Uh, throttle up and away we go. All right. We'll go around the edge first. Keeping in mind that this grass is extremely, extremely tall. I'm going to bring the audio down just a little bit, just in case you're not able to hear me very well. Right as close to the edge as we can. We'll probably have to do just another pass. Because it looks like I missed a bunch back there. The camera controls and everything in this in this game are a little weird. They're not... They're just... They're, they're a little strange. They're a little unorthodox to me. Um, they're very touchy. And I think that's what throws me off. Is just how touchy they are. Now, honestly, this doesn't look like too bad of a piece of land to, uh, to mow here. All right, we went around the edge. Let's go in. Now, again, the grass is very, very, very tall here, so we have to be very careful. There's a little white band around my speedometer, and there's a little red arrow. And if that white band goes past the red arrow then it's considered overloading my engine it means I'm trying to cut too fast through grass that's too tall uh, and I can damage the mower that way and also I can get penalized for that so it's kind of hard to like watch where I'm going and watch that indicator but I have to keep up forward momentum um, just fast enough to not exceed that red arrow. And if I go too slow, then I'll run out of time. And I don't want to do that either. So what I could do 
if I really wanted to, is I could... I could increase my cut height. I could bring the, the deck up. Um... I could bring the deck up to a certain height and mow the entire yard and then go back over it and mow it down more. Um, but I, I feel like if I did that, I would run out of time. I feel like my time management is not um, good enough yet. So we will have to see. It looks like I'm missing a bunch over here. I'm not sure how. along this water trough here. Do a little ring around this tree here. We'll have to come back and do more of that. trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do that. And we're going to start getting these corners uh, properly arranged here. So we'll just square that off. And then I want to go back through here. See, it looks like it's not cutting it. I'm not sure why it won't cut that. It's like the ground is being weird or something. tractor this way. I may have to raise the cutting height here because uh, this is becoming a bit of a problem.
41% done right now. reverse direction here and try to clean up some stuff. See, these blades of grass here seem to be clipping through the mower. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. But we'll go around this tree here. made a mess out of that but all right back into it here and I want to round this corner off just a little bit better make it a shallower corner We'll go back and put this stuff here. Round that off, and then we'll go get this little bit here that we left behind. We're not doing a very good job today. I'm gonna gonna be honest with you. We're 
I think I'm more distracted by the fact that the grass is so tall. And I'm having to watch my speed more, watch, watch that dial more. So I think that's what's throwing me off here. We're already at 16 minutes. I think it said it was supposed to take 19 minutes. I can tell you right now, we're not going to be done in time. We still have uh, a little less than halfway to go, so this is going to be a half hour job at least. Especially if we have to keep slowing down for the uh, for the height of the grass here. I don't know in what world they expected this to be a 19 and a half minute job. As we run into things, we've run over flowers. having a really hard time with this grass height here. I suspect the mower is going to need heavy maintenance when this is over. a little bit there that we missed. Also, I'm wondering what happened up here. Looks like there was a bit that wasn't cut. So not only do I have to cut the whole yard in 19 and a half minutes, but then I also have to go around and trim all of the pieces that I missed and I suspect there will be several We have reached our time limit, so we have officially exceeded the expected time for this job, which is not fantastic, I will admit. Cut around the base of the tree. There's probably one or two more trees. This one here that I need to cut over. We'll cut around that one on the next pass.
Let's cut around the base of this tree here. These turns are so tight that we have to do a couple of turns. how they expected you to do this in 19 and a half minutes. Even if we had cut it at a higher height and then recut it, it still would have taken a long time. So I don't I don't know what they're thinking here. this off as best we can. pick up all of this stuff here. Alright, we're going to go around this little bead, bead trough here. this little shed. As best we can. As we run into things. We're going to get so many penalties. Doing our best here. We're doing our best. We're gonna cut in there and we'll spin back. We missed a bunch anyway because we got overloaded. When you get overloaded, it doesn't cut. I don't think I'm really supposed to cut going in reverse either. We're just doing the best we can here. We're at 90%, but we're at 25, almost 26 minutes.
is some there. Boy, we are not doing very well. This may be the worst job yet that we've done. Granted, I haven't done that many, but still. We've gone over our time. We've incurred a lot of penalties. Um, and we're just not doing a very good job. We're not being very neat about it. We're not being very organized. We should beat the half hour mark for finishing the main cut. And then we just got to go back and find all the stuff that didn't cut properly. All right, I don't want to risk damaging the ground these sharp turns so we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup oh see I did it right there and I wasn't even I wasn't even doing a sharp turn that's that's kind of bullshit that's kind of bullshit apparently damaged the ground right there by turning I think that's the cut. I feel like we have a few places that we need to go back. Lots of uh, stuff there. Not looking, not looking very good, but. Uh, we have 99, we have 0.1% that we need to cut. So this stuff here that wouldn't cut. Controls are very, very touchy. Alright, we finished off. I'm not even going to go back and do everything. We're just going to call it good there. And we'll put the mower back on. Just like so. Uh, let's fill the vehicle. Let's change cutting blades. And uh, I think I think that's gonna be it. So let's see how bad we did here, because I'm not convinced that we did a very good job. But we'll find out right now. They're going to show us the summary. Um, I guess not as bad as I thought. The job was worth 500 
I thought it was $555, but now it's saying $535 or pounds. Um, we got a almost a five pound bonus for ground check time. We finished early. Uh, we earned 20 pounds for getting all of the items. We didn't get a cutting time uh, bonus because we went over on our time. Uh, our penalties and fines totaled eight pound 35. Um, we didn't actually get destroyed flowers. I thought we did, but eight pound 33 in collisions and two cents in ground damage. And then we spent 53, 57 in vehicle maintenance. That's, uh, fuel and cutting blades. Uh, you can see that our engine damage was heavy on that because of um, because of all the overloading we did. So here's our weekly report. This is our first week. We've made uh, 2,158 pounds 80. And we have had um, quite a bit of expenses. About... Uh, about 29.86.63. So we uh, we ended up losing 830 pounds in the first week of business. Now, mainly that was again because of vehicle purchases. So theoretically, this shouldn't affect us going forward. We now have a. 2,169, we'll call it 2,170 pounds. Um, we could upgrade our building if we wanted to. Uh, we could advertise, we could do all sorts of stuff. But ultimately, there are a few more uh, jobs to be done. And we'll do those next time on Stormforce Games. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, thank you so much. Remember, live streams five days a week. The schedule is posted to our Discord and on our Twitch panels. Uh, so tune in and see that. Uh, thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.